Wish we had our hats. Oh well. I think yours is in your car. Yeah, actually no, it's over there. No? Oh, did you put it in there? Yeah. Well, I was about to say it was in your back seat. Oh wow, well, here. Hey, we're recording. Oh. We're on this YouTube. Are you doing field goals? What do you no, doing? yeah, it is, it is, it is. What? It is the hat. It's the mic thing. So it is in your car? Yes, it is. Yeah, he absolutely loves the help. Don't you wear that to work? Yep. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, mine's in the bedroom, but I'm too lazy to go get it. Yeah, we're both tired from today. But anyway, hunt chef. Yes. We got these seasonings. Awesome. Oh, awesome. Awesome seasonings. Now, I'll fill you in a little bit about hunt chef. Kind of tells you a little bit about it in the name, hunting chef. So if you're the kind of guy likes to hunt, uh, deer, you know, fish, whatever. These are kind of seasonings based around that. Hence, the, hence the hashtag, eat what you kill. Exactly. Um, but that's basically what these are designed around. They're for the guy that's a chef that likes to cook, that hunts, fishes, whatever, you know, cook, cooks its, his game, basically. Now, I'm going to be upfront and completely honest. I didn't use anything, any of these seasonings for that. Just because in the time period that I've had these, I have not been able to use them for that. Um, I have a wife. And as you know, when you have a wife, um, well, mine anyway, somewhat the majority controls what happens in the kitchen. And she likes to cook. So... I was only able to use these on a select few things here and there uh, when it was up to me. So I didn't get to use them as much as I'd like. I definitely tried them out a good bit. It's just, if it was me, they'd be going in everything I'd be eating. But as you know, with a wife, they do recipes and whatnot. And she's only going to put in it what's supposed to go in it. So whatever. Keep the piece fine with me. But definitely put them through their paces. Um... I know my favorites. Uh, Grimm's definitely got to try them out, and he knows his favorites, which is kind of funny to me. Your uh, preferences, I know you can't see these. This is what, seven? No, six. We've got six different seasonings from Hunt Chef. And yours are kind of the complete opposite of mine, I've noticed. Because mm -hmm. I didn't even know till today what your, uh, your preferences were and my preferences were lined up. And, yeah, yours, like, I like a lot of the stuff that you like, but I noticed your grading on them is, like, the complete opposite. Yep. Like, for instance, I'll say, this one, uh, low down and dirty rub, sweet and smoky barbecue rub, which there's not really a spot to look, but let's see if it's in a light. It's down to here from me using it. And it's my absolute favorite out of all of them. This is his least favorite. I don't know. I'm guessing the barbecue taste just kind of threw me off. Here's a theory, though. I do think that the reason you don't like this one, especially right now, does that remind you of the tequila that we don't like? Oof. oof. That's just my guess because Too this smells... Tangy and barbecue. This smells like the tequila we just tried, which is smoky. And even though I love this one, it's throwing me off right now because of that. Because the, the kilo was just horrible. But I know I love the seasoning because I've used it on everything. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to let you go first. Because I like to talk. But yeah. Do your... I'm guessing my... I'm just going to go for worst to best. So uh, tell me, or actually tell them what your favorites are in order. And then tell them what you like to use them on. Mm. Preferably for each season in the EP. Because I already know what I've been using them on. I'm going to do least to best. So, starting off with this one. And Tell them what it is. Low down and dirty rub. Sweet and smoky barbecue rub. So, yeah. I wouldn't... No, mainly okay, barbecue. Okay, so I'm assuming you've used it, though. Yep. What did you use it on? Yeah. Like, did you use it in a mail... Uh, did you use it as the main seasoning? Did you use it as kind of like you would salt and pepper? What'd you do? Uh, I think we'll use it. I used it as the main seasoning. 
So you put it in the recipe? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember anything specific that you seasoned it? Yeah, uh, I don't know. It's been a while. Yeah, it has. I mean, I couldn't imagine you remember anyway if it's not your favorite. Mm. Anyway. Plus, I've primarily been using it. Anyway, the second beast one is a big, sexy beast rub. Bold, sweet, spicy, and savory. Box. Those names, though. Mm. I gotta give it to them on the names. Beast rub. <laughs> but, yeah. So, kind of the same thing? You used it in something? Uh, yeah. So, what didn't you like about it? Mm. Just not your thing? Yeah. Let me see that one. I mean, there's so many. Yeah, that's not the one I was thinking. Yeah. Actually, I really like this. Yep. That's exactly what I thought. Ours is like the complete opposite of the spectrum. Mm hmm This one, Canadian Carnivore. Definitely a good name. That's... That one's good for burgers. Mm. Is, is it the one I think it is? I mean, it's good for burgers and yep. steaks. That's that's a good, um, what I would consider like a steakhouse seasoning. Mm -hmm. If you ever get the McCormick Steakhouse seasoning, it's got all the chunks of crap in it, like dehydrated onion yeah, and whatever. Yeah, this will go great with it. That's it for Hunt Chef. That's what I used it for. And it's and in fact, fantastic. next time we have steak or burgers, I'm definitely putting this on mine. Actually, I'm trying to remember. Because um, we've actually had these for a while. Try to remember if that's what I used for 4th of July or not. I can't remember how far back we got these. Because I know I made burgers for 4th of July and everybody loved them, but I can't remember. Mm. I know at one point in time, though, we did make burgers with these and everybody fell in love with them. So, next. Right, next, 10 ring speed beef rub. And another thing, too, like I said, these are for primarily game. So you rub them on and you marinate them and you cook them in the smoker or whatever you want to do. Um, we just use these as an actual seasoning. Because like I said, um, in the time I've had these, I haven't had time to actually cook anything with what they're meant to be used for. Um, I also thought that was a cool idea because there's a lot of people out there, I'm sure, have used these for their preferred intention. But... I don't know how many people that are actually just bought these as seasonings and use them as an actual seasoning. So, yeah, that's what we did just because I'm a, I'm a seasoning kind of guy. I like to throw seasoning on everything I eat. Sorry, continue. All right. Well, we're going down to my best two, really. So, so you're top two? Yep. Smoky Bio. Southern, smoky Southern okay. seasoning. So why do you like this one but not this one? And you said this one's too smoky. That one's smoky. I don't know. This one take. This one definitely has that. Let's see if it's got a different kind of smoke. I can't remember. Different kind of smoke. Okay, yeah. So this one has that weird smoke smell. Well, I'm guessing similar to the tequila. Guessing this I've been looking different. at the the ingredients for this one in the my top one. And huh? It says sea salt, basically. I'm guessing this this one is sea salt too, but I'm guessing. I think it's a different kind of smoke. Yeah. But this one, you can definitely taste it here. Yeah, because in this one, you can definitely see the chunks of sea salt. Yeah, but the smell just kind of throws it off. Yeah, the smell mm, puts me off. Like I said, I think it's because you're uh, referencing the, te the tequila that sucked. Yeah. Because, like I said, I'm doing the same thing, but I already know I like it, so it's not hurting. Yeah. Me. So, this was my top two in my I don't know, though, one. because you had this before the tequila and still wasn't a big fan, so. Actually, it's a little. They're both the same thing. So, but, equally? Yeah, equally. So, real damn deal fish and seafood rub. Wait, what? Real damn deal see fish and seafood rub. That's a name. Yep, it is a name. Right here. So that is your absolute favorite. Well. Or the equal. They're both equal in a, okay. in a way. So same thing, you use these in something. Mm-hmm. Whatever be the reason, who cares? It's good. Okay. So those are your favorites. Uh-huh. I'm going to say, 
Okay, I already know this is my number one favorite because, like I said, it's like here. I... Low down and dirty rub. I like the sweetness, I like the smokiness, and I like the saltiness. Um, I don't like how I'm looking on here. Um, before this, like my all seasoning was kind of like a Lowry's or something because I do like a salty seasoning. And I guess I get that in this because of the sea salt. Like I said, if you look at this, you can see the chunks of sea salt. I really dug it. Um, I would put this on anything. Man, I, when I say put this on anything, I mean like my wife could make a regular dinner with some macaroni and cheese. And I'm putting this on the macaroni and cheese. Like this was my seasoning. Um, big sexy roll. I'm trying to think. I want to say, I can't remember if it was this one, but I want to say I used maybe this one on some chicken one night, and my wife absolutely loved it, the Big Sexy Beast Rub. It might be a different one, though, because uh, I didn't have time to, yeah, this one, uh, Canadian Carnivore Burgers, um, Speed Beef Rub, Tin Ring. This one I definitely remember was on the chicken. Because it's got almost like that. I don't want to say Mrs. Dash, but it has like that weird seasoning, seasoning smell. Not like a salty seasoning, but like dehydrated onion and lemon or something kind of smell. Yeah. That one I definitely remember being on chicken. Smoky Bayou. This one, if it's what. Yes, that one, I think we used that one on pork chops. Yeah, delicious. Uh, Smoky Bayou is probably my second favorite, just off the top of my head. Uh, yeah. And then, Real Damn Deal Fish and Seafood Row. Yeah, I think that was on chicken too. We had a lot of chicken. We poll. And what I mean by chicken is one night we might just make chicken breasts. One night we might make chicken legs, barbecue chicken, whatever. A lot of chicken. Yes. My wife likes chicken and it's fairly cheap in this day and age. Um, but we'll do a lot of different stuff. So like my wife might marinate it in like a uh, dressing and then use some of this on it. Or um, season with this like on chicken legs and then baste it in a barbecue sauce. Uh, just all kinds of different stuff. That was where I noticed that I was able to do my most testing because when it comes to something like that and we're eating it a lot, she wants a different flavor for each one so you don't kind of get sick and tired of chicken. Uh, but yeah, it made it interesting. And like I said, the... Uh... Well Down and Dirty Rub was my number one favorite. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. I literally would put it on macaroni and cheese or just... It's not that it's not good food. It's just I like to use seasoning. And I was looking for excuses to use it on. And macaroni, I think I put it on mashed potatoes one time. Um... I think I even put it on some fried bologna one time. Like, I'll, I'll put it on all kinds of stuff. Just because I like to season my stuff and see how it is. Because you just never know till you try. But yeah, they're, they're, Hunt Chef's the way to go. Definitely delicious. You don't have to just use it for game. Um, I'm assuming, just because I don't know, that um, you're supposed to use it on stuff similar to what's on the label. And it might not be that. It might just be that's what he uses because it's different pictures of game. Um, I mean, I'm, I mean, this one's called Speed Beef Rub. Pretty sure you're not supposed to season a dartboard with it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, like Smoky Bayou, I'm assuming it would be good on fish. And uh, car Canadian Carnivore, like burgers and steaks and stuff. There's another one I'm missing. Or... I don't know. But yeah, I don't have anything bad. I mean, I don't, I don't know about you, but for me, I don't think there's any that are necessarily bad. 
There's just ones that are better than others I mean, to us. All of them are good and eat in their own right. Yeah. So it's just preference. Like I said, I mean what he liked the best and hated, I liked the best in it. You know what I mean? So So in between. Completely different people. But yeah, none of them were bad or sucky or I wouldn't buy again. All delicious. And they all have their place on your shelf. Um, there's definitely uh, a reason to use any of them. Mm -hmm. Hunt Chef. Hashtag. Eat what you kill. So get yourself any of these flavors. Or, or there's, season what you buy at Walmart. Or if there's any more of them, then yeah. I think he's got a lot more. I'm not absolutely sure. I have to look. You never know. I think he's coming out with new stuff here and there, though. In the meantime... Definitely need to make some homemade jerky with these seasonings. Mm -hmm. but, Dear jerky. But, but now... That night, is it. The end. Kaboom. <laughs>